If you use an NVIDIA graphics card and want the best performance possible, it's very important that you know how to install your GPU drivers properly. So we're going to be using these two applications on screen to not only clean up old outdated drivers, but to install new fully de-bloated ones, as well as optimize some settings later. Back to the applications, the first one you need is DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. What this will do is it will completely uninstall your old drivers, ensuring that there are no leftover files remaining that could interfere with future installs or even negatively affect performance. To install this one you want to go into Google, type in display driver uninstaller like so. I always choose the Guru 3D one which is fully up to date. To find the download you just want to look for the green button at the bottom. After downloading it will give you a zip that you then want to right click on then click on extract all extract again. After that you want to click on the application where yet again you want to click on extract. This will then give you a new folder that you can click into where you can see the actual application which we will be opening up later. As for the second application that's Nvidia Cleanstall, what this does is it installs a brand new Nvidia driver without any of that unwanted bloatware. To get your hands on this one just simply type in Nvidia Clean install and this one's very simple it should be the top one which is the tech power up link where you'll see nvidia clean stall and you'll see that blue download button after downloading you'll see the application which we will be using later now before we do begin it's always a good idea to create a restore point even though i do doubt you guys will need it it's a good idea to have one because if any issues do occur you have that peace of mind as you can simply roll back with ease let's start off though with opening up ddu after opening you will get a pop up which recommends the use of Windows Safe Mode to avoid potential issues. Now this application will still work without the use of Safe Mode, but if you do want the cleanest and safest uninstall, it is recommended to use Safe Mode. To do that, you can just minimize it, uh, hold the Shift button, click on the Windows icon, then on the power button, click restart while holding that shift button until this screen appears, where you want to enter troubleshoot, then advanced options, then start settings, and then click that restart button. Shortly after, you will see this screen appear, where you want to click on the option for safe mode, as that's best for using DDU. After that, it will restart you out of safe mode, where you want to open the DDU again, head over to the right hand side, click GPU, then if not selected already, choose Nvidia. Oh, and before you do click clean and restart, as an extra step, I recommend unplugging your Ethernet cable before you click this restart button. What this does is it stops Windows from uninstalling a default GPU driver before you get the chance to run the NV clean stall. Once you've done that, you can click this top button where it'll restart and you'll be back out of safe mode where we can go on to the next step, which is opening NV clean stall. Inside NV clean stall, I recommend just leaving the top option that's install best driver for my hardware. As as most of the time this is the best option. However, if you're not a fan of the latest drivers or if you find them buggy, you can manually select one. From this long list, just make sure that you don't click studio, make sure you only select desktop. By the way, if you do want to find the best driver for your GPU, you can head into Google, type best Nvidia driver, followed by the game of choice, so for Fortnite for example, then followed by your exact GPU, so you can type in whatever GPU you have, and that search right there should find you a decent driver if you don't want to use the latest ones. For the majority of you watching though, installing the latest driver should be the best option, where you can then click next. Where it says select components to install, ensure you've only got display driver selected, as we don't want any of this bloatware. Shortly after, it'll show installation tweaks, where you firstly want to tick this one, which blocks Nvidia from sending data during install, followed by this one, which automates the driver install with no prompts. Perform a clean installation will completely remove all drivers before installing new ones. This one here will remove Nvidia's in-game screenshot feature so if you don't use that click this and finally you want to click on show expert tweaks where you want to click disable driver telemetry which removes background data collection MSI enables modern interrupt mode for the GPU just make sure to leave these both on default and lastly you want to make sure that both of these boxes are ticked as this is required to play any games with easy anti-cheat so Fortnite or Apex after that press next now click install after installing it's important that you right click on your desktop under display 
display settings, scroll down to where it says advanced display and ensure that you set your refresh rate back to the maximum one as sometimes this can reset during driver installs. Moving on you want to right click on your desktop, go under show more options and click the Nvidia control panel. Once opened head into your manage 3D settings and I'm going to list off all the settings I've been using for best performance which I've been enjoying recently. Image scale you want off, ambient occlusion off, you want all these anti-aliasing settings off. Same with the background application, you want that off. CUDA GPUs, I'll leave us on all with the driver default as well. DSR factors, you want that off. When it comes to low latency mode, and um, this essentially removes the rendering queue between the CPU and GPU, which in turn removes one latency step from your mouse clicking to it reaching your display, basically resulting in much lower system latency if you do have this setting turned on or either on ultra. Now, some people might find that they get FPS drops on ultra, so if that's the case, you either want it on or off, but for most people, on is pretty much the best setting. It's something you basically need to test for yourselves. Max frame rate I keep off. Monitor technology you will only see this setting if you do have G-Sync enabled on your monitor. OpenGL I keep on auto along with auto select. As for power management mode I've actually been preferring the maximum performance even though I did used to have it on normal. This again is something you need to test on your own system to see which one's better. Preferred refresh rate it's important you keep this on the highest one available as you do want the max monitor refresh rate hertz. Shader cache size this this basically stores all the shaders in real time to use later. So I myself like to keep this on default because the higher you have this shader cache, the more disk space it does take up. But on the other hand, the larger this is, the less likely you are to have to regenerate a shader later. However, I think for most people, the best option is the driver default. Texture filtering. This is something you can experiment on your own PCs. Um, I've actually been enjoying this one being on. Uh, rather than the default being off. But do bear in mind, I also have a custom profile over on the NVIDIA Profile Inspector uh, for Fortnite specifically. Now, these settings that I have customized, I did mention in a video I made a little while ago. If you haven't seen it, it's essentially a method to get potato-like graphics in the game. But the profile I'm using specifically still makes the game look potato-y, but not ridiculously. Like, it makes it more playable. I did actually show all the exact settings I I'm playing in that video so I will leave a link to it in the description below and um, for some people it might boost FPS for some it might not I myself I personally use it because I like the way it makes my game look and uh, negative LD bias I like this to be on allow the quality I like to be on high performance and trilinear I like to have that on the default on as for threaded optimization I like to keep this on auto and I also leave all of these on default at the bottom but yeah hopefully this guide has one helped you uninstall those old outdated drivers as well as in install those new de-bloated drivers to overall improve your FPS when you are upgrading to a new driver. If a video helped you out in any way please drop a like and subscribe and feel free before you do go to check out any of my other videos that are on screen right now that may just help you as well.